Hi, Leos. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is your May 2017 reading. Thank you so very much for those of you who have come to me for numerous reading readings over and over again. I greatly appreciate it. And for all of the likes and shares and subscribes, donations, messages, it has been a blast. All right. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and start pulling the love energies at this time for those born under the sign of Leo. And this does include moon sign and rising sign. Um, uh, these messages may not pertain to everybody. I only pull in whatever messages I pull in from all the people who are um, <sighs> watching. All right. Um, but I do want to say that if you want me to pull your energies direct, contact me through my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. And it's through there that we can do a personal reading that they were going from, they are going from $30 to $40 um, a reading because I have had to cut back on my hours with regards to career because this is interfering in a good way. I absolutely love this. I would much rather do this for a living. I've been at my other job for 27 years, but there are many benefits associated. So it's really been, it's, I'm coming to a crunch time. Thank you to all of you, by the way, who have followed me from the very beginning, a little over a year ago, who support me and help guide me in which way is the right for me if I should do this full time, but then I don't want to let go of my benefits. So there's just some crucial decision making. And I think that's happening for everyone in May. And we're coming to a pinnacle right at the beginning of May, which is about the time I'm changing it to $40, um, <clears throat> where people are going to really have to take a look at themselves and what is right and what is wrong. And then realize that spirit's going to give you blessings if you continue to make the right choices on your life path. I don't know why I was meant to say that, but I was, or guided, or whatever. All right, so I'm going to not separate singles from couples because they always get all mixed up and it gets confusing, but I will clarify when I notice, if I notice, anything pertaining to, pardon my dog, singled or couple explanations. <clears throat> my son's home. Hold on. All right. Sorry about that. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless those born under the sign of Leo with clearly defined messages for the month of May, 2017. Love energies at this time through May, 2017. <clears throat> All right. So the card representing your current life path here on earth at this time is the unrequited love card. There may not be enough attraction or chemistry with someone to keep a relationship going. So some of you might just be worried about a connection. You could be worried about within your own relationship, or you could be worried as a um, <clears throat> single person that somebody's not getting back to you. Well, here's the reconciliation card. Someone from your past is returning. So these are Dorian Virtues Romance Angel cards. What I like to do is combine the Rider Waite deck so I can clarify each position of the Celtic Cross layout as we go through the reading. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please continue to bless us with clearly defined messages for those born under the sign of Leo for the month of May 2017. Singled and couple, love energies. <clears throat> wow, yeah, so <laughs> I guess somebody isn't accepting that love. Darn it. It seemed like such a strong, good thing for a minute. Some of you may not give up on the fact that you're like, well, just because it's getting rejected doesn't mean it's completely over. And the reconciliation card is going to be probably a very enlightening connection via phone, internet, or face-to-face. -face. And you guys are going to come to the realization that somebody's just not opening up. You're going to give it a chance. You're going to look at it. And it's all because this is what's in some of your thoughts. Releasing your ex and spirit saying it's time to cut and clear that energy. When you get in a position where you feel like the woman in this card, know that you can cut those ties, those bad thoughts, feelings, and emotions by putting them into a flame of a candle, blowing it out, and watching them dissipate into the smoke, knowing that you have just cleared your path and that you can step forward toward things that fill you with peace, joy, contentment, and happiness, and not pain and anguish. Look at that. The person some of you are going through all of this pain and anguish over is the devil. It's a person who may have addictions. It's a person who may have just lusty fantasy stuff and don't want to get involved in a relationship. And you're all in your mind and you're all focused and you're all maybe even closing up to others around you because you're not getting what you want with a person that is absolutely not good. 
in your foundation. You or somebody else may be married. Or someone around you gets married or thinks about marriage. And hold on, my battery's running out. Okay, <laughs> I don't know why everything is just so interrupted and like down in this reading. We have to try and change it up. Whatever the situation is in your foundation, I feel like it's something some of you guys either know or you don't know, but you got a good feeling and it's really keeping you up at night. It's keeping you down. It's bumming you out. Maybe you wanted to marry someone and you're realizing, oh my gosh, this just isn't turning out. In the recent past, you thought that this person was maybe going to be your new love, that they stirred your romantic feelings and then they left you feeling like this. I wouldn't be... I guess I would be lying if I didn't say that a lot of people right now are throwing their hearts at a brick wall, at people who just don't want them. And I don't understand why people aren't looking for the ones who open their arms to them. It's almost like reverse psychology is going on here. So the plain matter of the situation is we all walk a path. We come here alone, we leave here alone, and on the way we meet people so that we can get spiritually educated as we head towards the blessing that we will receive before we head back to heaven. But we can't get to that blessing if we're getting caught up in these entities in the form of a human being that hurt us. So when you come away from a person, you should come away smiling, happy, fulfilled, good, excited, can't wait to see them again. Um, you may feel like you can't wait to see them again, but you may get to a point where you're like, they leave you with more questions. They leave you sad, fearful, like you could just lose them at any time. And this is part of what the devil personality causes with people. They just play. They don't, they just toy like a puppet. In the near future, some of you, the next four to six weeks, pay attention to the red flags, okay? Spirit saying the signs are cautioning you about what? Major heartache. So this is actually a great opportunity for a lot of you to know that it's time to go within and pull your soul all the way back from those that you've combined it with, those energies you've connected with, that you're losing part of yourself over, and you need to recenter. Get back into what excites you. It's it's spring. Um, you know, go outside and start jogging. Get some exercise. Get back into who you are. When you were just a little kid, worry just about what you were doing and not anybody else. Because only we can give us the peace, joy, contentment, and happiness that we desire. And when we become whole, in ourselves we start to lighten up and get like real bright in our aura and have positive energy and that draws positive people to you so a lot of what's going on here to me is that somebody kind of pulled this upon themselves and they're hurting themselves i don't know why now this is for some leos not all leos you have control over the next four to six weeks over how hard you want to work on a connection with someone. It could be a connection that seems like it's been unrequited. Maybe there's been reconciliation, but not much emotion. So you might have to decide how much harder do I have to sit here and work before I realize these red flags, this heartache, this unrequited love the person who is being represented by the devil that won't open their heart, that's leaving you cry at night or stay up at night or fear things. Look at that. You're working so hard on all of this stuff in front of you and right next to you is probably your blessing from the universe that you don't even see laying there. It's the one coin that has the like 1,522 on it and it's a collector worth a million dollars or something. You know, there's something there for you and you're up against this entity and giving away your soul. And until you get your soul back, of course you can't give it to someone else or it just won't work out. Now there's someone around you who has children. Maybe their love life has been affected by children. Mm. And the Hierophant's coming in to say to the whole reading, hold off for a minute. Have faith that this situation will work out for somebody. Have faith that they will be eventually provided with one of these keys to open up a new door for themselves. But in the meantime, you need to release them. You need to let them work through it is that they're working through. 
pay attention to the red flags. I feel like information is going to come to you and you're going to realize it and it's going to be a bit painful unless you can just start releasing now. People are on their own path struggling through things and sometimes their struggle because it's in their mind and focus just like we get pulls them away from everything else. And on the outside, we think, well, why didn't they for me? Because they're in their own path. They're having a struggle and we need to respect that. In your hopes and fears, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Okay, so maybe some of you are hoping to get out of whatever, whatever it is that's got you tied in here. And you're hoping that you can get out and start receiving recognition and uh, for a job well done or just getting together with friends. And in your outcome position, look at you attract romance by enjoying your moment fully. So these moments, when you go out, enjoy everything around you. Start reconnecting with family and people that bring that make you feel like the love you know is real love. You know, fantasy is just one beginning level. It's the addiction that nature put into animals to come together. But then everything human-wise becomes very regular. So you have to remember each day to say, please, I love you. Thank you. Can I do this for you? Can I do that for you? And vice versa. That's what brings you two so close. But if it gets boring and old, it's like you're just going after the intensity. And that's an addiction. That fate, that passion, that thoughts, feelings, and it's not real. What's real is who makes you feel good about yourself every time you walk away from them. In your outcome position, yep, get out, connect with others. There'll be even uh, give and take between others. The scale is going to start to even back out because you're not all like this and throwing yourself off balance. You're going to start kind of opening up to other people. Listen to the people who love you and help you feel attractive and good. Now, the card overlooking the entire layout is the trust card. The situation is calling for you to have trust and faith. Really? That's interesting. The card that's going with that is the justice card. So justice is sitting here. This is a major arcana telling you that just trust and have faith that what will need to be done with the sword, the cutting away from things that don't serve you, from cutting away from someone's life, there's going to be a rebalance, okay? Things are going to balance out. So trust that things are going to balance out. Look at that. Further down the line, separation, time apart again from somebody. And here you are, Leo's being really, really patient. Well, I've waited three months. I might as well wait this fourth month. But Spirit's saying we're blessing you with the opportunity to wait a moment. And to make a plan of what it is you want, who it is you want, where it is you're going before you grab the final sword and, and complete the battle on this path. All right, so for further confirmation, I'm going to continue to uh, lay out, do a layout to my right here for further confirmation because that's what I do. You may he be heading towards where the money's at, okay? Some of you may be in connection with a person who's an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising. You're wanting to get away from troubled waters, go to smoother waters, maybe take a trip somewhere, maybe to meet someone in your family who's very well off, very independent, very strong person that does well in their path. You're looking at what you were reminiscing on in the past, wondering, you know, just kind of remembering it, and that's fine because... I think some of you are thinking it might be time to move forward. You're sending out messages. You're receiving messages back. You're wondering which ship out there is going to be the one that comes in for you. And it may have to do with going and visiting someone who she's very independent. She, and I don't know why I'm saying she, but it's a woman in the picture, is on a brand new path. Lots of money, big money for this woman. You want to go see her. You want to connect with her. Some of you, not all of you. I'm only pulling certain messages. It could be him, too. In the past, you enjoyed a very nice, happy family life. Pets, paid your bills well, did well, and you're connecting with someone who kind of reflects on life in a similar way to you. You're trying to figure out, is it time for me to leave what I've created in the past and move towards this beautiful new path that this person is has acquired and connect with them? 
but you have the blindfolds on. So you right now just really can't make a decision. You're waiting for more messages. You're waiting to decide if you should take a trip. But I see in your outcome position, some of you are going to go ahead and move forward and offer this person your heart. Yeah, some of you have been through a lot of pain. And Spirit's saying with the number 10, you're at the end of that path. The pain and anguish can now be put behind you. You have the strength to put closure completely on this path and to step out on a new beautiful path with the Ace of Cups. Blessed by the universe, overflowing with love eternally. Listen to the energies of the High Priestess at this time. Connect with Spirit. Mourn if you have to. This is in the middle of this reading. Let go of the past. Turn around and realize that Spirit's already set you up with another path behind you and two full cups overflowing with peace, joy, contentment, and abundance. Somebody may come in and they may not like that you stepped out on a new path. But it doesn't seem like, oh my gosh, look at this. After suffering, after thinking, after taking the time to realize that the old painful path is over, here comes some of you Leos, this brand new beautiful, happily ever after, family, children, brand new home, marriage, and love in the bottom row. So heading towards new direction, heading towards a soulmate. Some of you with the Knight of Pentacles could be heading towards a situation that's going to bless you with many great things um, because of your income and you will be able to buy and take care of the things you've wanted to take care of that before may have been difficult. To my left, I'm doing another layout, of course. Open up your heart, make the right choices, look back, take some time to say to, say to yourself, because the choice is, should I continue with where I'm at or should I move forward and the wheel of fortune is here to say fortunes on your side hop in your train plane or automobile and go and investigate what the world is about I see you putting an end to something and starting a brand new path and it's going to be a difficult one but with some of you it could be a fire sign like yourself uh, Sagittarius Aries or Leo Sun Moon or Rising we have a frustrated air sign. I see that. I dropped my glasses. <laughs> it's the most dis disruptive reading I think I've ever done. I don't know why. Everything seems out of whack. Like, there's a shift in perspective is what's going on here. You guys are going through a paradigm change. You're starting to see what love is because you've been hiding scared somewhere else, playing and toying with the rat like a cat, you know, and... and really not facing the issues and you're going to have to really look closely at a situation for what it is talk to a person if you have to get the words out say what it is and call it what it is you know whether it's good or bad but work through it you can't go over something you can't go around something you have to go right through the middle of it and once you're on the other side of it boom spirit will come and give you another test <laughs> So, um, I hope those messages helped some of you. Again, if you need to contact me, you can do so at josiek42 at gmail.com. May 1st will be $40 a video. They're half-hour videos. All right, um, let's see here. I'm going to do career, but some of you might want to stick around because career and love sometimes get intertwined. All right, I'm just saying. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sign of Leo for the month of May 2017. Finance, career, energies, please. Wow, there you go. Some of you are taking a moment to think about where it is you want to go at your current life path right now. And the wheel's just waiting to spin in your favor. You guys might have experienced something difficult and now the wheel's finally coming along to say, okay, karma's balancing out. You're going to get some cool blessings. Go ahead and travel. Take a break for a minute. Now, these are the Gilded Tarot cards. What I'm going to do, of course, is add the Rider Waite deck for further clarification. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sign of, okay, oh, Leo. With regards to career and finances, boy, love is a painful thing for some of you. And may I don't, I hate to say that in fact <laughs> I was thinking this would be travel with regards to career and for some of you it may be that I'm pulling those energies but also I'm getting back to this sword before in the foundation in 
Yeah, what I'm hearing is one area of your life in the negative energies, say in your love area, is going to spill over into your career area if you're not careful, okay? Because spirit's all around us and it can mix and move and affect different things. So we want to try and stay as positive as we can, okay? Yeah, there's going to be a new job offer for some of you and you're going to be not quite sure if you should stay where you're at or if you should move forward and accept another position, another job offer, another department situation in your thoughts position some of you are like hey haha ha, I won the battle and yet you're losing the war because you got to carry all these swords around with you which represent pain anguish frustration and things from the past so you may succeed in an area and if people come against you you know don't just be kind because the card coming with this is yeah you might say ha huh, I'm getting this opportunity but it may be built on a, on a bunch of fluff it may not even be a real situation, so don't just quietly until you know for sure. Because here you are in your foundation, saying, I got to make a choice here. I got to figure out what's going on. I got to get to the point. I'm going to verbalize with this person. I'm going to say, what's the bottom line here? I'm going to send out messages with regards to career if this person is far away. For some of you, it could be a person with career who's an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising. In the recent past... You took a good look at everything that you'd achieved and where you've gone and what you've done, and it's over now, and you are you got ready to set out on a new path, so you sent some messages out, and look at that. Here come the offers, the opportunities, or an offer, an an opportunity. Part of you maybe are just sobbing because you don't want to leave something behind, but you're excited to hear about something new because you were looking. In the near future, you have the Hierophant saying, have hope. And Spirit saying, here's the Ten of Wands. This work is over. You're at the end of this path. A 10 is 1 plus 0. You have already started the new path in the next 4 to 5 weeks or months. Of course, Spirit doesn't understand our human time schedule. In the next 4 to 6 weeks, the Queen of Pentacles is coming in here. I think this is going to be some of you. Finally stepped forward. You set down the wands, the struggle, the battle. You took a risk. Even though I don't see the risk card, I feel you being strong and determined. Some of you also, as soon as you start doing well and accept a position, are going to hear from someone from your past. And I don't think they're going to hear that, oh, hey, you got some money going on. I'm going to get in touch with you. I feel like you're just going to, it's going to happen out of the blue. And that per, yeah, they're going to kind of make you sad. Just be clear about love in May. Just Find the answers you need and really almost think about putting closure to a connection unless it's a very strong and good connection. This is for those who are single and I'm just going to kind of move on. This could also be that you're working with someone from the past or that some of you are working hard to support your children and take care of your children. And that might be why it's been up in your thoughts and that may be why you're trying to advance and get to a different position, even if you have to travel. In your uh, Someone outside your path is finally receiving the Ten of Cups. They're getting, they're having a happily ever after time in their life. They went full circle. They worked hard. They got blessed by the Hierophant who gave them hope to step out on a new path, even though they were unsure, they were strong. They are looking at what it is. They've worked so hard to achieve, just like you, and now they're ready to move forward and start something new. In your hopes and fears, justice. That you can cut away from things that don't serve you and find balance in your life once again. Here comes the offer in money that I was talking about before. So I feel like that was definitely an offer in money. You sent messages out. You were very clear about how much you wanted to make, what the job was going to include, how, you know, what you have to offer. And then finally, you set down the wands with all the hope of the Hierophant and you become like the queen and are able to pay your bills and look after your children. Some of you, not all of you. Someone outside of your path is doing very well and they're thinking about leaving their path. And you're just hoping that money's coming in and spirit's saying, We're, we got your back. We will make sure that the right things get cut away and that you find balance. Look at that once again in the outcome position. You're going back to maybe work in a place, city maybe, or state that you've worked before. Or you're going to go travel and visit or go on a trip and bring your children. 
travel to see your children, but this is there's a child in here. So I'm thinking making bringing your children to travel and see other children, maybe in the family or something. So I feel like once you get settled with career, some of you are going to be ready to take a vacation. All right. And if you're retiring, yes, in the next four to five weeks, Spirit's saying it's a blessed opportunity for you to lay down those wands to know that you've got enough to sit and maintain and take care of your family and enjoy life. Move forward, take a vacation, connect with your family, go somewhere and enjoy the trip. All right. I did another layout to my right here with the Gilded Tarot cards. And in the beginning of maybe the next couple weeks here, just be like the hermit. Go within. Make sure what it is you want to do with regards to both love and career. There's going to be some information you don't have. But, you know, be like the King of Swords and the page here. And be clear about the messages you're sending out to that company. Okay. Make sure you know what it is you're heading towards. You're going to get to a point where you're like, okay, I don't know which one I should choose. Which one should I choose? I'm not quite sure. Well, one of them, I think you're going to know. You're going to see. You can't miss that underneath this opportunity is your ship coming in and angels in the form of dolphins saying, take this one. And I think you do. Here you are working on the new project, excited to get going, I think, in about... Six months or six weeks, six days, if some of you are already aware of what this is and you have to make a choice. And the outcome position over here is, okay, I've gotten all these offers. I just don't know which one. But Spirit knows they're trying to really give you a sign and a feeling that when they hand you the right cup, they want you to know it's from the universe. You may be scared to take that. Open your heart and look at here it is on fire. They're saying, here's your new, passionate, exciting, eager path that you are reaching up to the sky to grab a hold of because you know it is good. And then look at right behind that. Putting closure to the old ways of creating money. There's a cobweb there. Just finishing up your tasks, a little worried about where you're going, maybe mourning the past, but excited to move forward because you've earned and learned enough spiritually you know, educationally, maybe even human form. What you've learned along the way is what's going to help put you in a great position. All right. Now, I'm going to pull a card to close the reading from the Doreen Virtue. Messages from your angels oracle deck. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sign of Leo with clearly defined messages regarding their May 2017 reading. Angel advice, please. Yeah, look at that. So right off the bat here in the first couple weeks, some of you may be just looking at an option and Angel Merlina is saying if you are confused and indecisive because you don't have enough information, do the research or seek expert advice before making a decision. So hold off a little bit. Now in the next three to four weeks, Isaiah is saying it's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I'm watching over you, guiding you and protecting you during these changes. So it's time to move forward. It's time to create something new, birth something new on your path, create a new per, new uh, situation in your life. Because Archangel Michael's here with those who have passed before you to say that they are with you, giving the you the courage to make the life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. What is your divine life purpose? To uh, succeed and to accomplish and to find peace, joy, contentment, happiness, and love. And if you feel like this is a blessed path for you, you will know it. And the card on the bottom of the deck is Angel Omega saying, Victory! Your desire is coming to fruition. Keep up the great work. Keep moving along. Um, yeah, I, you guys are going to have a decision. If you don't know what that decision is right now, it's going to be a blessed decision, but there's going to be a little bit of confusion because I think some other offers are going to come along at the same time and you're not going to be sure, but be like the te uh, King of Swords. Um, be very, very clear about what it is you want. Even say, you know what, I need to take a second walkthrough before I accept your job oppor opportunity and get to know some of the people and see what my day-to-day -day will be like because it's very important to me to have a very peaceful, content life and to just really get a feel for where it is I'm heading towards. I mean, it's probably rare that people do that, but it's also fair that people do that. So I feel many wonderful things. Look at that. Peace, joy, happiness, contentment, and love. 
find that on your path right now. Get yourself situated. Anybody who doesn't bring you peace, joy, contentment, and happiness in your heart, move forward because your family and your friends and there are many, many others that you could meet along the way that are more than happy to provide you with that contentment. Thank you so much for coming to me for the May 2017 reading. I may do another mid-May. If not, I will see you in June. Take care and God bless.